hope you like them. They are beautiful. There are lots of daffodils over there. I always walk by there when I go shopping, do the groceries. Okay, well, now let's see if I can find a mix of colors that will help to create a little bit more shading. And I'm going for... Let's see, let's try a sepia brown. I'm going to pick up sepia brown. Here I have sepia brown. And let's mix that with a touch of indigo. and a touch of yellow ochre. Would this be something or would this be... I'm not sure. Let's mix here. I think that will work better. Let's go back to the sepia. And then let's pick up the ochre. And then let's add a touch of that cadmium yellow that I've been using. Now this looks a bit greenish. Hmm. I'm going to add a little more sepia brown. This is really very tricky. I'm very nervous whether I should add this to the drawing. Well, no guts, no glory. Let's try it here. And I will use a very, very little amount of paint. I will try to make a very light wash. When I look at the photo, there is a sense of green in this shadow, so... I'm constantly cleaning the brush right now. Let's pick up a little bit more of that mixture. And now that I'm painting, it is uh, the next morning. I paint every morning. I record every morning because then there is no sunshine here in the Passion for Pencils headquarters. But this, the sunshine is creeping up on the table here. So I must be, uh, must be quick. Let's see. Actually, that lot doesn't look bad. I'm going to use the same tone to add a touch of shadow here on the petals. I hope everybody is in good health today. I hope you are all in good health. More and more people are experiencing corona lockdown situations in the place where they live. All over the world. Here in the Netherlands we are uh, heading towards a critical point and uh, 
people are holding their breath. Well, that's a Dutch saying, je adem inhouden, to hold your breath. That means that the situation is very uh, spawnant. We don't know what's going to happen. The hospitals here in the Netherlands, they uh, prepared for the worst as far as you can prepare for the worst, of course, that is uh, it's difficult to prepare for that. But there was also hopeful news. The first signs that the measures taken are working seem to be there, the experts are telling, so as long as I keep calm and color, stay at home and color as much as possible, I will contribute to getting rid of this virus. So, that's what I'm doing. Stay home. And color. And gardening. And cleaning the house. I must say my life hasn't changed that much because I'm used to being at home all day long. The only thing is that I don't teach right now. But I'm going to uh, try to do some online teaching. That seems to work, so uh, going to try that next week. I think this looks quite nice. I'm going to use that mixture again. Sepia brown, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, touch of indigo. Wow. Let's add a touch of that here. I keep my brush wet so I can uh, move around the paint a little bit. And I think I should add some bright colors now. How about um, this one, the Chromium Orange U. And as the name says, U, chromium orange U, this is not the chromium orange, as it were, for ages, because the chromium is, it's toxic. So they made this color without the toxic component. I think I should lift off some paint here and there.
So, let's take a look at the leaves. I think the leaves need uh, some uh, attention. And I think we should add a, a sense of um, sh shadow. So I'm going to uh, make a darker green tone. And I'm going to pick you up and move you over here to my Schmincke palette. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the permanent green olive. And I will mix that with... I think indigo. Here I have the permanent green olive. Put it here. And I'm going to mix that with indigo. Here it is. Would that make a nice shadow? Well, let's take a look. Let's see. Picking you up again. And there you are. Here we go. Did you hear that? That was a huge uh, insect flying towards the window. <laughs> it made a huge noise. Shadows can have very strange forms. But this looks better already. I'm not looking at the picture right now because um, there are so many leaves on the picture that it's hard to tell which leaf I should well it's just too much <laughs> so I'm just uh, using my imagination right now Well, that looks so much better already. I really like this. Now I'm going to uh, do something dangerous. I'm going to put this tone, this shadow color, here inside the flower because I have a feeling that adding a little more darkness here will help the flower to pop. Let's see, I'm going to be very careful. This is a, this is a stamen, so I would like to, uh, to keep that one uh, lighter.
I think that looks better. I'm going to use the same tone here to add some extra shadow here. Let's see what happens. My brush is still wet, so I can smooth out the colors. And right now I'm looking at my screen, at the screen of the phone that I'm using for recording, because it gives me a little bit of a distance and a different look on the painting, which helps me to determine uh, where to go. You can also do that create uh, some sort of distance by standing up, remove yourself from the painting a little bit more, but you can also use a mirror. Look in the mirror to your painting and you will immediately see what needs to be done. You can also use binoculars and then the wrong way around so that you see it see your picture in the distance if you see it far away these are all things that help to let you uh, make the right decisions Maybe you heard there was a door closing here in the home. I don't know if the camera, if the microphone picked it up, but that's my husband. He just went out to, uh, to go for a walk. The government has asked us to, if you go for a walk, to do it alone. So there's the least chance that you uh, that m many people gather together. We are no longer allowed to uh, to create groups of people larger than two. <laughs> and then you have to, to keep your distance. But the measures seem to work here in the Netherlands. The first signs of the disease slowing down becomes visible, the experts are telling us, so that's very hopeful. Now everything ha um, depends on how the public, the people, are um, committing themselves to not going outside, stay indoors, don't meet people. If you have a cold or you feel ill, stay at home, stuff like that, it's very important. I am now going to pick up cadmium yellow light. Here I have it. And as you can see, I smudged it. So I'll clean it first. Actually, I'm not very... Um, I, I don't care if the paint is a little bit smudged. It's okay. So I'm adding some extra color to these leaves, the petals, squeezing the brush a little bit so more water flows. I'm doing this because the petals of these uh, daffodils are very bright and I want a little bit more brightness here in the painting.
but not too much so I'm going to take off what is too much here and then I'll have to let it dry because this watercolor paint dries in a lighter tone than when you put it on so now it looks quite quite strong but as soon as it has dried it will uh, be less strong I'm going to add the same color here to the petals and here and I think I'm going to add a touch of that mixture of permanent green olive that I made with uh, indigo over here just a touch and then Oh, it flows a little bit. Well, that's okay. So, well, that doesn't look bad. I'm happy with it. I think the 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 leaves need a little more color as well. Let's make a mixture. I'm picking you up again. I have to pick you up because I cannot stop the rec pause the recording. Yes, I can do that, but then I have to pause the audio recording also, and that's it's all very complicated. So I'll just pick you up. Um, let's see the permanent green olive. Let's see what happens if we add May green. Would that be a nice color? Well, I think it would. Let's give it a try. There we go. Back to the painting. I think this is too dark so I'm adding water and picking up the excess amount of paint. I don't want things I don't want the uh, the shadows to uh, disappear if I make it too dark the lighter areas then the shadows won't work anymore. But this, this looks better. Okay, now the question is, is it finished yet? I think I need a little more, um, I'd, I think I need, need a little more definition here. So I need a darker color. Let's see. I think I'm going to mix chromium orange U. Let's show you. Let's try to mix a orange chromium U. And it should be a little bit darker. Maybe with sepia brown, just a touch of it. Would that work? Now that's the question. Let's give it a try. just adding dots of color here and there
Okay, I'll let things dry now and then we'll see. Okay, I'm not completely happy with these orange blobs that I just added. They are dry right now. And here I have a smaller brush, the small Pentel brush, and I'm going to see if I can I can make these blobs a little less prominent. I think this looks better. Yeah. This looks much better, I think. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that uh, cadmium yellow light and add it here. And here. And I'm picking up chromium yellow U deep, slightly darker. Look, 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 yes, yes, yes. And a touch of the chromium orange U, just a touch. This looks better. Little bit of the orange here. Well, now, are we finished yet? Almost, I think. This is the mixture of permanent green olive and indigo. Just a touch here. And just a touch here. Need to be very careful. I don't want to ruin things. Is it finished? I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. We consider this one finished. Our first color yourself calm daffodil. In the next episode I'm going to do uh, something else with a different medium, no watercolor, I'm not sure what. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Put your suggestions in the, comment, in the comments uh, of this uh, video. I read them all and I will make a list of everything you are asking for. So uh, on the wish list right now is... Um, blending with colored pencil, making larger areas with colored pencil. And uh, there is a question about uh, Neo Color 2 crayons. That's an interesting one. I have those. Um, I'll have to think about the project, how to do that, but I'm going to. And there was a question about Derwent ink tents. I'm definitely going to do that one too. So yeah, if you want me to color or paint something, let me know. The template for this one, you can find a link in the description of this video and then you can um, join me for free this time. It's no cost. So well, I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next Color Yourself Calm episode. Bye bye!